So let's start out with black and white versus color. Sometimes you have a picture that looks great, and then you change it to black and white, and it looks really great. Um, this one of a girl looks pretty cool, and uh, black and white really emphasizes different parts of it. This picture, eh, colors are terrible, but then you turn it to black and white, and it really shows off the air bubbles. This um, sunset picture is pretty great. It's kind of a neat effect when you turn it to black and white. And then this sunset shows a lot of pastel colors, which you lose when it goes to black and white. The emphasis on the clouds to sky is really different with this one. Sometimes a strawberry needs that color, so when you take it away, it doesn't quite look so... Uh, good. This is a very beautiful picture of a flower. Wow. Too much details. Okay, this one's black and white. If you turn it, add a little color, it kind of makes it pop a little bit. And then this picture of chicks was red from the heat lamp, so black and white was a good choice. Let's talk about framing. You can use anything to frame your subjects. This I used a road block sign. I use the same thing for this one. Um, this is okay picture, but you frame it with a tree. It really makes a difference. You can use fence post for framing. This is a tunnel. You can use people. And even I took a bunch of grass and put it around my frame for this one. Perspective, that's kind of where you add some creativity. A little picnic looks pretty cheery when you add some flowers. You can be close up or farther away. I've got a picture here of a boy in the grass. And there's four different views of him, different perspectives that you can find. This one's my favorite. But that one's fun too. Down close to the ground you can see a lot of details. This I took a picture of a leaf on a tree and then the leaf behind it was my focus. Then the branches behind it were in focus and then the whole branch is in focus. You can see the perspective differences. There's some kids playing here. You just gotta think of the point of view of who you're trying to capture. This one I had to move around to find the right angle. This one's kind of fun up in the air. Also this one, great for a gardening picture. Perspective really adds a lot to it. So, talking about different views of things, I took different pictures of a shed here for for an example of perspective making a difference. Kind of walked around the whole thing to see what I could use to frame it, either flowers or parts of trees or the buildings next to it. Alright, lighting makes a huge difference. This is the light shining in my window in the morning and later in the afternoon. It was not, it was indirect light. Um, but the strawberry looks pretty good, but the sunshine I think makes it a little bit tastier looking. There's a different contrast of lighting you could have. This is some great window light on these eggs here and also great window lighting here and there's another sunset window lighting the seed packet she's holding is reflecting the light up into her face and this is where you'd want a flash to fill in the faces all right subject what is your subject sometimes it's easy to figure out on the right is in focus on the left is in focus 
this one is it the path or the bench or maybe the photographer is it the house or the boy this one is definitely focused the subject is the house the subject is the boy and this is them both together two different ways of presenting Alright, so we've got emphasis on the flowers, the people, the people, or the flowers. Changes with the focus. We've got a boy at the lake here. A lot more emphasis on the lake. You just change your angle. I kept my camera on the running boy the whole time and it blurred the background, which really worked. Creativity. This is where I like to do some things. You can use props to do funny things. Not raining yet. I added bubbles for texture in this picture. Um, this I used continuous shot and just picked the one where the blanket looked the best and also her hair. This is a reflection of a waterfall and some sunglasses. So, waiting for the right moment or not. <clears throat> this one, I took a picture of a lake we were at. It was kind of boring, so I waited, and right before he left, some clouds blew in. Sometimes the clouds are perfect right when you walk out the door. This was also the same place weeks later. Just the sun and everything just was just great. Sometimes you take a picture just because it's fun. And then sometimes the same kids jumping, just everything aligned. This one, you take it because it's there. Just beautiful shot. Hopefully you have your camera and you see it and you just capture it. And even if things aren't perfect, like the power lines in this photo, it makes it worth it anyway. This one, I waited two hours at a Christmas event to go over to the neighboring table and say, Can I take a picture of your candle? So sometimes it's worth the wait. So if you guys could just go out there and take some pictures and don't worry about if it's perfect or not. You never know when you're going to capture something that you're just going to really fall in love with.